What's up guys, this is Caleb from Newbie Tech Company, uh, here with another video for you. I know I'm kind of cramming them all in in one night, but uh, I want to get my channel started right uh, with a couple of good videos for you. So uh, right now I'm going to show you uh, the beta, uh, beta 1 of um, iOS 5. And so here with me I have uh, an iPhone 3GS um, running iOS 5, and then iPod Touch 3rd generation running iOS 5. Um, so I'm going to set this aside uh, for now. I'm only going to use this for demonstration purposes on one feature. Uh, so we're going to set this over here. Um, but here is uh, my iPod Touch. Um, we go into the settings. I'll show you guys that it is indeed running iOS 5. Because a lot of people are skeptical about videos like this. Uh, so right there you can see 5.0 um, and yeah, and also, I mean, you can look at iCloud settings right there. Um, I have a uh, messages app in there now, um, which is a really cool feature. Uh, reason why I need the iPhone to demo that for you guys. Um, so yeah, this is iOS 5. Um, basically, uh, brand new features are, one of them is newsstand. Uh, Newsstand is a new kind of folders type application as you can see it doesn't actually open up an application but it opens up a a type of folder uh, for magazines and newspapers uh, so you can subscribe to those and they'll automatically download uh, so a really cool feature there um, and there's updated uh, an updated game center um, and as you can see there is uh, if this will load anytime soon um, new interface uh, there's a picture of me and there's my uh, kind of gamer tag if you guys want to friend me and game it up <laughs> um, so yes that is that is the new uh, interface of game center and also there are uh, game suggestions in iOS 5 and also they'll let you uh, download games right in the app and uh, for some reason my network is being kind of slow um, so I have all my games listed here and then uh, at the top here it gives me game suggestions um, and I'll, I can look at these game suggestions, and then uh, they suggest the World Cup. I think it's table tennis. Yeah, and uh, and I can download the game uh, right in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, it says free. I can tap on that. Um, so yeah, that's Game Center. Um, Another cool thing, uh, my favorite by far is notifications. And as you can see, as I drag this down here, uh, boom, notifications. It's got a cool little widget on top here, as you can see. Um, it shows the weather. Um, and then uh, I guess I'll now is the time to uh, demonstrate uh, these new notifications. At the same time, I'll also demonstrate iMessage. Um, and iMessage is a messaging application, kind of like BlackBerry Messenger, uh, for iOS devices. So. Um, Let's get into here. I'll go into my messages, new message, and uh, we'll go. Okay, I'm a newbie. I'll cover that up so you guys can't see my phone number. All right. So, uh, different from the um, text messaging, you can see right there it says iMessage, and when you're messaging someone with a text message, it'll say text message, and uh, this button is blue for iMessage and when you're texting somebody um, that's not an iOS um, supported device then it'll be green um, so there are ways to tell whether you're doing um, iMessage or just regular text messaging um, so if I exit out of here um, say alright guys so I had a little difficulty here uh, but I got it figured out so we're gonna play the game over here <laughs> um, and it is going to be Tiny Wings, one of my favorite games uh, let's turn the volume down here. So I'm playing Tiny Wings, and uh, over here, uh, I'm gonna say hi uh, because I miss my my brother EJ so much. Um, so I have hi up here. I'm gonna hit play. All right, so I'm playing Tiny Birds uh, or Tiny Wings, excuse me, and uh, and I'm gonna send this message. And uh, the new notification system is really awesome. See how right there at the top without interrupting my game it says hi and uh, and then it'll slowly or after time it'll just fold away like that and uh, and say now you know I'm done playing my game and I hit pause and so uh, what I can do is from the top I can drag down 
all right there and uh, it'll have my my message right there and it'll flip to my messaging app and there it is hi so that is the new notification system and I can show you going back and forth if I say hi back right there as you just saw as I exited out um, I said hi back um, and the cool thing is you say hi and see the dot 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 it'll show you when the other person is typing um, so that's cool um, and then if he's if this guy is out doing whatever I hit send you can see that notification again just like that EJ Havens I can either tap on it and it'll bring me to the message or I can drag that that bar down um, and it'll do the same thing. It'll give me that little notification thing. Um, so that's the new iMessage. You can also do a, have a feature where if you go into your settings here, you go into messages. Uh, you can send uh, read receipts, so the person knows when you read that message, um, which could come in handy. Uh, and other times could not. So <laughs> I have it turned off for now, so nobody knows whether I'm reading their messages and whether I'm ignoring them or not so um, yeah there's another cool feature iMessage and the new notification system um, and oh another thing here let me uh, I'll send another message while this is locked this part is really cool this is probably one of the best features about the new notification so I'll just send a random message um, and then do a loop as you can see here um, EJ Haven sent me that message and what I can do is I can actually tap and drag that icon across unlock, do my passcode do the wrong passcode and uh, it'll take me right to that application so yes that is the new notifications okay so another cool feature uh, that has been uh, put into iOS 5 is the deep Twitter integration so uh, that's my Twitter right there you guys can can follow me um, but what what you do is uh, you put in your username and all that good stuff um, and basically from all of the native apps that Apple makes you can tweet so say I have a photo here and I want to tweet this cute dog here I can click right there and it'll bring up my menu and there's tweet right there and that's built into the maps application, um, the camera application, all of the the, the native ad applications. And you can add your location here uh, to put geotagging on there. Um, you can it's got the uh, the text counter down there. Um, so there is that. So guys, I just missed a call, um, and as you can see, right there, there it is. I can uh, slide slide this little icon. And, uh, and unlock my phone and it'll take me right to the phone application so I can call that person back. Um, so, next feature we're going to talk about is Reminders. Uh, reminders is a like a to-do list. Um, and uh, as you can see there, do unboxing of Brazer Nostronimo, which I've already done. And it's in the middle of uploading right now, so you guys will have that video very soon. Um, but anyway, uh, and there's a completed uh, clean room. So, uh, and I, I cleaned my room. Um, but you have the option to uh, to add location notifications as well. Uh, so say you want to get notified of something when you get somewhere or when you leave somewhere. Um, so that is really cool. Just a little reminders application. Pretty simple, very easy to, to get around. Um, so there's that. Um, and that pretty much covers everything. We got notifications. Uh, the reminders application, newsstand upgrades to Game Center. Uh, we have iMessages. Um, mail has been kind of redone. Um, not worth showing though. Um, so yeah, um, another feature, and I believe it's only the iPod Touch 4 and the iPhone 4, but you can actually edit your photos after you take the picture. Um, I played around with that iPhone and I couldn't figure out how to do it on there, so I'm thinking it's just the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4, but there is also that feature. Um, but the last thing uh, is, the, is iCloud, uh, which is the, uh, the major thing that's going to be uh, shipping with iOS 5 is, is iCloud. And uh, I actually have uh, developer previews of all that on my Mac, on my PC, on uh, both of these phones, or the phone and the iPod. 
um, and I have that integrated into my whole entire system. So I'm going to do a video that will do uh, an in-depth review of the iCloud. Um, so and I hope you really, guys really, really enjoy that because uh, I like explaining it because it is such an awesome technology. So uh, anyway, guys, um, please uh, give us comments. Um, any advice will help. This is only my third or fourth video. I can't remember. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to get used to this, trying to, trying to do the videos that you guys would like. Uh, again, any suggestions, anything like that, just uh, uh, feel free to let me know. So thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.